Hello, welcome to Arvind Singh Academy. Uh, we are discussing sequence and series and this is lecture number 7. I hope you have already watched part 1 to part 6 before watching this part 7. We are uh, discussing a geometric progression now and uh, this is uh, a new concept that I am going to discuss today that is sum of first n terms of GP. Sum of first n terms of GP. Right now, this is the topic. So, let us discuss this. Let S be the sum of first n terms of GP, first n terms of GP, which first term is A, which first term is A, and common ratio is and common ratio is R, right? So, S is equal to, therefore, S is equal to A plus AR plus AR square plus AR to the power N minus 1. If we multiply by R, right now, then what will happen? If you multiply by R, then it will be AR, isn't it? A multiply by R will be AR, just right below this. A R A R square because if you multiply by R this will be a multiply by R A R A R multiply by R A R square like that so similarly it will be if you multiply here previous term it will be A R to the power n minus 1 and if you multiply in this with R it will be A R to the power n now we can subtract this two we can subtract this two and subtract if you will subtract this two most of the terms will cancel out get cancels out you know so here uh, it will be sign will change sign minus 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 so these are cancels here so when we will subtract it we will get it s minus sr is equal to a minus this one will left a r to the power n this employee s into 1 minus r if i took x common here I can take maximum a common 1 minus r to the power n and therefore s is equal to what is s a 1 minus r to the power n upon 1 minus r when it is taken as when r is less than 1 and there is another formula simultaneously we can learn it s is equal to also uh, if you take negative sign common from numerator and denominator, this will be r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 when r is greater than 1. So, these are two formulas, uh, although this is the same one, right now, if you subtract from bigger minus smaller, you will get it, and uh, these are the same one, but uh, we can use it uh, separately, although if you remember only one of them there is no problem right so these are the two formulas i hope you got it okay now these are the two formulas you must learn when r is less than one when r is greater than now so these are the where s is where s is sum of first in terms of GP and uh, age first term, first term and RH common ratio, common ratio, right? So we can do this. I hope you got it. Now let us solve some questions uh, for uh, understanding this concept and uh, how to use this formula. So let us start some questions from the exercise, given exercise and that we will solve here. From exercise 9.3, uh, there is a question that find the sum of indicated number of terms in each of the following geometric progression from 7 to 10. This is a question given. Here A is 0 0.15, R is 1 by 10 and N is 20. Number of terms is 20. We have to calculate S20. So S20 uh, will be obtained by uh, r is less than 1, so we can use a into r to the power 20 upon 1 minus r. What is a? This is 15 by 100 into 1 minus 1 by 10 to the power 20, right? 
divided by 1 minus 1 by 10 that is 9 by 10 9 by 10 okay so what will happen this is 10 9 by 10 and this 10 will cancel this 1 0 definitely and this will be 9 can cancel this 3 times and that can cancel 5 times 5 can cancel this 2 times 2 into 3 this will be 6 isn't it that will be uh, 3 will come in numerator this is 3 by 1 so that will be into 1 minus 1 by 10 to the power 20 we can write here that will be the answer no need to calculate it exactly i hope you got it now the next question is question number 8 and question number 8 can be calculated as this is given root 7 root 21 3 root 7 like this 3 root 7 up to n terms so for solution here a is root 7 and r is root 3 isn't it root 7, 21 divided by root 7 is root 3 and n is you have to find sum of n terms so sum of n term is a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 because r is greater than 1 so we can write here root 7 into root 3 to the power n minus 1 upon root 3 minus 1 so the finally sn will be this will be root 7 into 3 to the power this is called n by 2 minus 1 upon root 3 minus 1 uh, you can rationalize it there is no problem but uh, there is no use of rationalizing so you can write the answers no need to calculate it exactly okay so you can write it like this and if you want to calculate it uh, in terms of um, so something simplify because n will be always there huh? so n cannot be calculated now question number nine and question number nine is one minus a a square minus a cube like n terms up to n terms where if a is not equal to minus one if a is not equal to minus one then you need to calculate up to n terms here also in similar fashion a is a1 r is minus a and you have to calculate sn so sn is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 or even r is negative so we can take here like 1 minus r to the power n depending upon your choice you can do that because as i told you there is no difference at all so that will be a into what is that first term is 1 a is 1 so we can write here 1 and what will be that 1 into 1 minus minus a whole to the power n upon 1 minus minus a so that will be 1 minus a 1 minus we can write it like this 1 minus minus a to the power n divided by 1 plus a and that will be answered no need to go further for it whether it is positive or negative depending upon that there will be separate value and any given or odd then also there will be a different value but you can write in that terms only now the next question is 10th it is given that x cube x to the power 5 x to the power 7 up to n terms if x is equal to plus minus 1 right it is given so again here uh, we can calculate it a is x cube and r is x square so sn you have to calculate therefore sn is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 so we can write x cube into x square whole to the power n minus 1 upon x square minus 1 x square minus 1 so that will be x cube x to the power 2n minus 1 upon x square minus 1 and that will be answered now the question number um, some questions are like 11 question number 11 and question number 11 is given like evaluate evaluate 
to elevate sigma r k is equal to 1 to 11 2 plus 3 to the power k this is what given so if i put uh, sigma means summation if i put the value of k from 1 to 11 then this will come solutions will be there solution is what so for solution uh, we can write this sigma 2 2 plus 3k and where k is equal to 1 to 11 this will come 1 to 11 if you put then it will be 2 plus 3 to the power 1 plus 2 plus 3 square plus 2 plus 3 q similarly if you put 11 then 2 plus 3 to the power 11 that will come here that uh, can be written as 2 plus 2 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 isn't it how many times 11 times terms right now up to 11 terms 2 plus 2 plus 2 plus 2 up to 11 terms and then what will happen thereafter plus 3 to the power 1 plus 3 square plus 3 q up to 3 to the power 11 times right now so 2 plus 2 plus 2 up to 11 times 2 plus 2 2 times is 2 times up to that is 4 if up to 3 then 3 times up to that is 6 so this will be 11 times of 2 plus this is in gp we can write it a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 right now a is here 3 r is also 3 so i can use it like 22 plus 3 into 3 to the power 11 minus 1 whole divided by 2 uh, you can calculate it that will be 88,595 and that will be the answer now let us uh, solve some different questions rather than this uh, where some uh, questions is described in terms of language so uh, here is a question number 12 and question number 12 is the sum of first three terms of gp the sum of first three terms of gp three terms of gp gp age 39 by 10 is 39 by 10 and their product is 1 and their product is 1 is 1 find the common ratio and the terms find the common ratio and the terms find the common ratio and terms which terms those three terms so we can solve it solution is like this so first three terms of gp is this and their product is one although first three terms of gp can be assumed like a ar ar square isn't it but uh, since product is given it will better to go ahead with the directly put like this let three terms of gp are three terms of gp are alpha by beta alpha and alpha beta because here common ratio is beta and first term is alpha by beta so if you multiply with beta you will get this one and multiply with beta you will get this one so according to question their product is alpha by beta into alpha into alpha beta is equal to 1 so beta beta cancel and alpha q is equal to 1 this employee alpha is equal to 1 so that can be calculated easily now since first sum of sum of first three terms is 39 by 10 so we can write here also also we can write here alpha by beta plus alpha plus alpha beta is 39 by 10 and therefore 1 by beta plus 1 plus 1 into beta is equal to 39 by 10 this can be written as 1 plus beta plus beta square upon beta is equal to 39 by 10 so the same thing can by cross multiplication this will come here that 10 plus 10 beta plus 10 beta square is equal to 39 beta 
and that will come up like 10 beta square minus 29 beta plus 10 is equal to 0. So 10 into 10 into 100, 25 for 100. So we can break them 10 beta square minus 25 beta minus 4 beta plus 10 is equal to 0. If I took 5 beta common from this, then this will be 5 beta, then 2 beta minus 5, 2 beta minus 5. And if I took here 2 common, then that will be also 2 beta minus 5 is equal to 0. And therefore, uh, 5 beta minus 2, right now, and 2 beta minus 5, that will be 0. So, either 5 beta minus 2 is equal to 0, this employee beta is equal to 2 by 5, or 2 beta minus 5 is equal to 0, this employee beta is equal to 5 by 2. Hence, common ratios are, that is, that was beta, so here common ratios are, therefore, common ratios are, common ratios ratio r there are two common ratios so that is why i have written common ratios r 2 by 5 and 5 by 2 both are possible right now for as far as concern with the terms alpha is equal to 1 so when alpha is equal to 1 and beta is equal to 2 by 5 then three terms are three terms are are what the three terms alpha by beta alpha and alpha beta that is alpha is 1 by beta 2 by 5 is 5 by 2 1 and 2 by 5 right now when alpha is 1 and beta is 5 by 2 then three terms are three terms are um, it will be 1 2 by 5 2 by 5, 1 and 5 by 2. So order will be just changed, nothing else. I hope you got it. But both of them are answered. So you can write it because terms are like this. First three terms. First three terms here. First term is different here. First term is different. So you need to write both the answers. Right now. Okay, I hope you got it. Now the next question. Let us solve some more questions. And some other questions that is question number 13 is there. And question number 13 is written how many terms of GP? How many terms of GP? Terms of GP 3, 3 square, 3 q are needed to give the sum. Are needed to give sum. 120 right 120 so here solution can be obtained here that uh, sum is sn is given 120 a is given 3 r is also 3 into 3 3 square so 3 now using the formula uh, we can have and we have to calculate how many terms we have to calculate the number of terms so we can go ahead with the formula and this is a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1 is equal to 120. This employee 3, 3 into 3 to the power n minus 1 upon 3 minus 1 and that is 120. So this cancel 40 times and this is 2. So that will be 3 to the power n minus 1 is equal to 2 multiply by 40 is 80. So, therefore, 3 to the power n is equal to 81 and this employee 3 to the power n is 3 to the power 4. So, n is equal to 4 answer. So, 4 terms only needed to make some 120. I hope you got it. Now, the next question is uh, here question number 14 and question number 14 says the sum of first 3 terms of GP is 16. The sum of first three terms three terms of gp is 16 and the sum of next three term and the sum of next three terms three terms is 128 128 determine the first term determine the first term 
first term and the common ratio first term the common ratio and the common ratio common ratio and sum to in terms of gp sum to in terms of gp of g right so a few queries are there first three terms of gp 16 and next three terms so s3 for solution we can write here that uh, s3 sum of first three terms is 16 and next three terms next three terms means here s4 is s6 minus s3 is 128 this is what given so therefore s6 is equal to uh, 128 plus s3 and S3 is uh, 16, so 128 plus 16, that is 144, right now, so we can write it 144, S6 is 144, got it, X6 is 144, okay, now as per the formula, uh, we can write here, if A be the first term, if A be the first term, first term and R B common ratio, R B common ratio of G P, common ratio of G P, then S3 is given 16, that means what I can write, S3 is A R square to the power 3 minus 1 upon R minus 1 is equal to 16, this is first equation, also S6 is also s6 is 144 that is a r to the power 6 minus 1 upon r minus 1 is 144 now divide second by first divide second by first we get we get what will happen that will be s that will be a r to the power 6 minus 1 upon r minus 1 whole divided by a r to the power 3 minus 1 upon r minus 1 uh, is 144 upon 16. So that can comes like r minus 1 r minus 1 cancel a, a cancel this it cancels by 9 and r to the power 6 minus 1 divided by r q minus 1. So what will come? that will come r to the power 6 minus 1 upon r q minus 1 is equal to 9 and that is also r q plus 1 is equal to 9 and therefore r q is equal to 8 and r is equal to 2 because this can be written as a q minus uh, a square minus b square r q whole square minus 1 whole square and a square minus b square is a minus b a plus b so a minus b will cancel and a plus b will left like so this can be written as r q minus 1 and r q plus 1 so r q minus 1 will cancel and r q plus 1 will left so r is 2 now you can use any one of them from first a r to the power 3 minus 1 upon r minus 1 is equal to 16 right now so we if we will put here a that can be uh, written as 2 to the power q that is 8 2 to the power q minus 1 upon 2 minus 1 is equal to 16 and therefore a is equal to 16 and 2 q is 8 minus 1 is 7 so 7 will be there right now so a is 16 by 7 and now the sum of n terms n terms is given as Sn is equal to a r to the power n minus 1 upon r minus 1. So we can write 16 by 7 and r is already we have calculated 2 to the power n minus 1 upon 2 minus 1. 2 minus 1 is 1 which will make no difference and that can be written as 2 to the power n minus 1. That will be answer. So I hope you got it right now. 2 to the power n minus 1. Okay.
so that will be the answer now let us solve some other questions that is question number uh, 16 we can do that or 15 even question number 15 what is that given a gp given a gp gp for which given a gp for which the sum of first two terms the sum of first two terms is minus 4 and fifth term is 4 times the first and fifth term term is 4 times the third term 4 times the third term the third term right so here we will write the as per solution given that's given a gp which first sum of first two terms let a be the first term a be first term and r is common ratio and r is common ratio okay so if a is first term and r is common ratio then first two terms will be a plus a r and that is minus 4 this is equation 1 fifth term is 4 times the term third term fifth term is 4 times the third term fifth term is a r to the power 4 and 4 times of a r square so a a cancel and r square is equal to 4 r square is equal to 4 this employee r is equal to plus minus 2 right now so this is what plus minus 2 now gp what we need to calculate find given uh, we have to find gp so when r is equal to 2 if i took r is equal to 2 then what will happen now when r is equal to 2 then this will be a plus 2r 2a 3a is equal to minus 4 then a plus what will be that r is 2 so a plus 2a is equal to minus 4 and therefore 3a is equal to minus 4 and a is equal to minus 4 by 3 a is equal to minus 4 by 3 i hope you got it a is equal to minus 4 by 3 and therefore gp will be will be in that case a a is minus 4 by 3 r is 2 so minus 8 by 3 minus 16 by 3 like that this will be possible when a is uh, r is minus 2 when r is minus 2 r is minus 2 then it will be a is a minus 2a is equal to minus 4 that is minus a is equal to minus 4 a is equal to 4 in that case gp will be and in that case therefore gp will be in that case 4 r is minus 2 so minus 8 and then again minus 2 plus 16 then minus 2 minus 32 etc like this here both of them are answer or not let us check it whether a uh, fifth term is uh, first two terms sum is minus 4 so here first two terms has some minus 4 that is true sum of these two is minus 4 and uh, again fifth term is uh, fifth term is here what will be fifth term fifth term will be 64 and 64 is 4 times of third term that is also true so this is a true now whether this will satisfy or not so minus 4 by 3 plus minus 8 by 3 is minus 12 by 3 minus 12 by 3 is also minus 4 so both of them are satisfying and therefore both of them are answer of this question so i hope you got it now the next question that i am going to take on here and the question is uh, like uh, question number 15 that was question number 16 in fact so let me write here this is question number 16 this was question number 16 okay and now i am going to discuss question number 15 so 15 is there and in this question it is given that in 15 that given a gp given a gp with a is equal to 729 and 
सेवेंथ टर्म एज सिक्सटी फोर डिटर्मिन एस सेवन डिटर्मिन एस सेवन राइट सो दिस इज फॉर नाउ आई कैन टेक इट ऑन लाइक एज सेवन ट्वेंटी फोर सेवेंथ टर्म सोल्यूशन सिंस सेवेंथ टर्म इज गिवेन सिक्सटी फोर so t7 is 64 it means a r to the power 6 is 64 a is 729 into r to the power 6 is 64 so r is equal to 64 upon 729 and that will be nothing else r is equal to 2 by 3 right now r is 2 by 3 and so s is equal to what is a R is two by three. A is known, and now S seven is equal to. Therefore, S seven is equal to A R to the power seven minus one, or one minus R to the power seven. You can write because R is less than one, so no need. Uh, you can write it like this: R to the power seven upon one minus R. So seven twenty nine into one minus two to the power seven upon three to the power seven upon one minus two by three. So that will be seven twenty nine into two to the power seven is one twenty eight upon three to the power seven is what will happen? Three to the power six is seven twenty nine and three to the power two one eight seven, right? Divided by one minus two by three is one by three, so that will be one by three. Now the things will come. This three will multiply and that will be two one eight seven. Into two one eight seven minus one twenty one is equal to. This will be seven minus eight is nine, and seven minus two is five, and one minus one is zero, and this will be two. One two zero five seven and divided by two one eight seven. So this this cancel two zero five nine will be answer of some first seven terms of GP. Now one more question I would like to take on, and this is question number seventeen. Seventeen question is given here. That is, uh, if fourth, tenth, and sixteen term, if fourth, tenth, and sixteenth term, sixteen terms of GP, terms of GP, R X Y Z, R X Y Z. respectively 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 prove that x y z are in gp prove that x y z are in gp are in gp okay so we can have solutions like uh, that solutions fourth term if a be the first term a be the first term and r be common ratio Term and R is B common ratio. R B common a ratio of G P. A ratio of G P. Then fourth term is fourth term is X. That is A R Q is equal to X. And uh, tenth term is Y. That is A R to the power nine is equal to Y. And sixteenth uh, term is Z. That is A R to the power fifteen is Z. This is second. This is third. If X Y Z are in now Y by X. Now I can find Y by X is equal to what? Y by X is A R to the power nine divided by A R Q. That is R to the power six. Right? And Z by Y is equal to A R to the power fifteen divided by A R to the power nine. That is also R to the power six. So from four and five, from four and five, four and five, we have Y by Z is equal to Z by Y, and therefore X Y Z are in G P. Y by x, in fact, this is y by x, isn't it? Is equal to z by both are equal to r to the power six, and therefore x y z are in G P. 
So these uh, these are few questions on the basis of concept of sum of n terms of GP, and I hope you have enjoyed this and you learn it well. And uh, in next class, uh, we will discuss about some special sequence of uh, which is the reducible GP, and that will how to deal with those type of questions. We will discuss in next video so till then bye bye god bless and if you do not subscribe uh, uh, yet to this channel please subscribe it and also refer to your friends this is a request and thank you thank you very much god bless